yourself here's a tip so when you get to the boarding gate ask them to check if there are any empty seats and if they are request the row so that you can be as comfy as i am i mean this was a really good flight this station right here is called sunny bay it is the very same station where you catch the train to disneyland good morning guys and welcome back to my channel i am heading to mainland china I'm actually at Sunny Bay Station in Hong Kong. I'm gonna catch a train to call in West and then we are going into my city. It's gonna be a four hour journey. Super excited to get back on the high speed train to mainland China. I haven't been on it since 2019. So super excited. I actually wanna see what um, changes they've made to the trains and I'm gonna be sitting in first class. So let's go on this journey to China. left me never ran this fast before with two 23 kg bags and a 10 kg carry-on luggage and a big ass handbag you know what anyway like i was saying the train almost left me i got into carriage number 11 i'm supposed to be sitting carriage number two so i had to drag all of these bags up to number two and there was this very kind um chinese guy who helped me carry my bags from 11th carriage to the second carriage like god bless him because i would have been stuck so the train started to move and it was tilting to the right and the bags are sliding to the right yes what a long ass way to my seat but i'm comfortable now i'm actually in the restroom and i want to use that sit down and get ready for a beautiful journey to mainland china guys the amount of coughing that i did when i got off this train because you know why chinese people smoke everywhere goodness me if you're able to please wear a mask when you get off these trains <laughs> Welcome to my huge school. So this is the international high school. Then we come to the main building. We have high school and our middle school in this building. Then we have primary school, which is my building. And then over here is the dormitory for middle school and high school students. Hey guys, welcome back. I am finally in the People's Republic of China. I'm actually at our school's accommodation. We have got a dorm for teachers. I'm at our boarding school. I'm going to be staying here for a few days until I find my apartment. I think I'm going to go apartment hunting after tomorrow because I need to go and do medicals, go to the police station and go and do my banking stuff. So on Tuesday, 
I should be going apartment hunting. I'm hoping I'll find something cute. I took a tour around my city. It looks sad, it looks sad. We'll see how things go, you know. It's a new city, it's a new country. I've been to China before though. <laughs> it's actually my third time here. Let's see what this new journey has in store for me. My principal got me this amazing bouquet of flowers. Look at these. So pretty, right? Oh my word. I was just like, girl, thank you so much. I was out here like, shit, yeah, you know. <laughs> So in addition to the flowers, my school also gifted me these items. Some tissue, I got a cup, I also got some toothpaste, a toothbrush, uh, the brown thing is actually a pillow, a very hard one. <laughs> and this over here is a duvet that they also got me. They were so happy to have me here today. The kids are actually coming in back to boarding on Sunday and the semester starting on Friday. So the school had an event and the parents were here. I saw some of the kids that I'll be teaching. Oh, little nudie pies. But overall, I've had a very good day. I'm very overwhelmed though, guys. I don't want to lie to you. I'm very overwhelmed by the role, by the school, by the city, just like everything. It's going to be gonna take time for me to settle in and adjust but we've got this we're gonna do this I'm gonna take you on this apartment hunting journey with me for now I am gonna go and shower probably head to bed because tomorrow morning we have got medicals we need to be ready at 7 a.m. and I'm not a morning person so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here today but thank you so much for watching up to now until next time I was about to say sarangye, but then I remembered we're not in Korea. In China, we say woaini. Woaini means I love you. I think it is. Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. Welcome to our staff room. 11 of us sit in here. We have eight Chinese teachers and three English teachers. This over here is my very messy desk. Please don't judge me, guys. I was going through a lot in my first week, okay? And this was me getting ready to go and teach. Over here we have our entry hall, one of the classrooms and the hallway. Okay, this over here is our semester plan and as you can see there is a lot of information on it but you don't have to worry because I am going to simplify it for you. We want to help the children use phonetics to make simple words to identify structures in sentences and to be able to express themselves in English. Would you guys believe me if I told you that? This was my third day at work and I was already preparing to present our semester plan to my grade one's parents. Yeah. I remember sleeping around the AMs because I wanted to nail this presentation. I had to present it three times to my grade one's parents. And guys, the pressure. <laughs> anyway, that's me in action. And of course, I nailed it. Guys, it is a lot. You, what a day. My first few days have been absolutely terrible. Like terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm not even exaggerating. I have not slept properly since arriving in this country. There's so much going on. There's parents' meetings. I have not unpacked my bags yet. There is so much going on. But I'm so lucky because we have two days off. I will be back on Saturday to welcome the boarders at school for an hour and then back home again. Guys, this is a lot. This is a lot. But so far... I think I'm okay, you know, I need to give this a few months like I did with Korea and then everything should be fine. I'm walking to the bus stop because I want to see if I'm able to use the buses in case I don't find a DD one of these days. I use them in the morning, but I obviously need to have backup because you never know what may happen. So yeah, man, it's Wednesday. Let me go and actually get a massage. Oh, there's the bus passing. Okay, it's going to come back my, my way. So let me cross the road and prepare for it. But what a day. 
this is the dorm for middle school and high school students. Guess what? So this building over here is a boarding dorm for my grade ones, twos and threes. I know guys, I also couldn't believe it. Good morning guys. So today is a Sunday and I'm going to work. Very weird hey. So we were given Thursday and Friday off and when that happens it usually means you will start working on a Sunday. So I've got a six week day and I am not excited at all. I'm really tired. I'm so tired to settle in. But today I have my introduction classes with my kids. I get to meet them for the first time and I get to get a feel of the type of students that they are. Right now I'm waiting for a cab because that's what I'm gonna use before I start using buses. So I'm gonna have to give myself time during the weekend just to familiarize myself with the buses. These are my grade ones and this was me teaching them the sounds of the alphabet. They actually grasped the song so quickly. Within two weeks, they were ready to sing it without me helping them. I wish I could take you through our canteen. We have two floors, three sections of different types of food. I have cool drink with this meal and ice cream afterwards and then we nap for an hour. Guys, this is heaven. Hey guys, so it is actually lunchtime slash nap time. Everyone is taking a nap for an hour and then we get back to classes. I'm not gonna take a nap. I'm just chilling out here in the sun. Goodness, it's too hot. And yeah, just taking in all of this air, you know, just relaxing. But the school is very quiet because all the kids are actually napping. Like. I'm the only one that's just out here um, getting burned by the sun. Uh -uh, I need to move here. There's no way. We look for another place where we can do phone calls and catch up with my family at home. hello guys so today is a friday it is my first full week at work i had a six day week because we started the semester on a sunday we were given thursday and friday off apparently saturday is teacher's day so we had an event at school today we actually moved our flag raising event to today instead of sunday and we were given gifts and stuff i was given a gift and i won an off day like hello guys can i have my off day and food and then other teachers get to take over my classes so that's what's happening i'm really exhausted as you can see i sleep for about four hours i'm still trying to adjust to the work the students the school my environment and stuff so i think it will take a bit of time but we'll see how things go